Welcome back to Gateway Center Arena in College Park at the Atlanta Dream right now. Have an eight-point lead over the Aces. And now we have our halftime interview presented by Remotely Renee. I'm Angel Gray alongside Rashawn Ali. So when we have HBCU night, of course, we have to bring in one of the most notable HBCU alums Aww. in Rashawn Ali. I know you went to family. You want to talk about what this means, just having everyone in the building repping their universities today? I, I love it. First of all, thank you all for having me on. I appreciate it. And secondly, I'm uberly proud of you oh. and all you've been able to accomplish in your career. Uh, I, I just love you so much. I'm just really ecstatic to just be standing here with you in this moment. Uh, but like you said, I am a proud graduate of Florida Agriculture Mechanical University, and we see so many historically black colleges and universities represented here tonight. And it just brings me so much joy that the Atlanta Dream will take it upon themselves to say, you know what, let's have a night specifically dedicated to our HBCUs and also uh, Greek letter organizations, black Greek letter organizations. Organization. So just excited to represent both. Um, I'm representing Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I've been a member for 26 years in the spring of 1995 <laughs> at FAMU. So just really excited to, to represent both. You represent very well, and I appreciate it because you're such an inspiration just down the line. You're a media personality. have done your fair share in sports as well. So you've played sports. You understand what it's like to be at a FAMU, at FAMU HBCU, but also just giving back and yeah. talking about what it is to be a cool soror, which you are a yes. founder of. You to talk about it it's also yes on your shirt that's right so i have a brand <laughs> called kusora but it is a podcast in which i interview uh black women in black greek letter organizations about their stories and about you know their journeys in life um and the commonalities that we all have we may have chosen different sororities but our stories are very similar and so i wanted to showcase that along with men as well but wanted to put the spotlight on women and, and along with that i have a nonprofit called sporty girls incorporated in which i encourage uh, girls of color to participate in non-traditional sports, particularly in our community, swimming, soccer, tennis, golf, and lacrosse. I went to college on a swimming scholarship, so I'm, you know, that's my that's my main sport, but I know what it did for me as a middle-class girl coming up, and so I'm just trying to afford those same opportunities to girls like me. I know I want to go back to just being HBCU night and just having everyone in the building. You said it's so awesome that the Dream can actually partner yes. with different HBCUs. Can you just mention what the Dream has been like for your journey and what that partnership has been like even for you starting cool stores and sporty girls inc how that collab has actually helped oh well yeah i mean i think it's uh it's a it's a big deal my parents are the product of hbcu so i grew up in a home where that type of um ideal was groomed to my brother and myself who went to tennessee state university and so you you, you grow up with that and then you go to these universities and they preach giving back because giving is the rent we pay for living and so you know i feel like the 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 true definition of success is to bring someone right where you are but really the joy of success is allowing them to catapult or being part of their their rise and say oh my god thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of that journey so if i can be a part of someone else's success i think that is what success means to me that's what the greatest uh feeling of success means to me i wasn't lucky enough to go to an hbcu but i did go right across the track at okay. florida state okay so I'm, I'm trying to see if i can get an honorary rattler badge here my I am a product of parents that actually went to HBCUs right. as well. My mother is a Rattler, went to FAMU as awesome, well, so awesome. that is the connection So you there. got it a little bit. Well, we'll give you, we'll give you a little <laughs> Rattler love to the Seminoles. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> and just another thing, just talking about your experience there, I know just a lot of different uh, youth are looking now at the option, and they're yes. just knowing that, that that option is there. Can you just walk us through what your experience was like? It priceless. I mean, I really, there, there are no words that will be able to really uh, grasp the, the the experience in its in its totality. But I know that I am the woman that I am because of my experience at Florida A&M University. I knew who I was when I went, but I had a greater understanding of who I was completely, not only as a black woman, but as a person by learning different facets of black culture. Not just the middle class girl, but the one who, uh, the upper middle class black woman, the, the, the one who was underserved and being able to understand all walks of life made me a greater person and I'm so glad to have had that experience and I just want to encourage any student out there who wants that experience to please consider an HBCU. All right last question because I know you were you know a reporter in sports as well how do yes. you feel about the dream what do we need to do to close this one out? I think that we just need to continue to play cohesively um, they are doing just that, and I think we'll come out uh, with a win on the other side. Spoken like a true pro. Rashawn Ali, <laughs> thank you so much. It's HBCU night, and to have you here, not just repping 
for the Rattlers at FAMU, but also for the AKAs. Yes. We'll shout you out. We didn't see the pinky up, but we know it's going to come it's later there. on in the show. It's Thank there. you so much for joining us for the <laughs> halftime interview presented by Remotely Renee. We have